with Santa Claus will likely be a little different this year due to COVID-19. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson spoke with the man in red. She's getting some answers about how they're trying to keep holiday cheer alive. The jingle of sleigh bells. Oh, ho, ho, Merry Christmas! And the hearty, familiar greeting of old St. Nick. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. And bring Santa out the joy Claus in the biggest of kids. And this year, some might say more than any other in memory, we need the magic of Santa. This, this, this is a year that Santa's gonna be so important. Santa tells us already many photographers, towns and malls around the country have either canceled their Santa events or are reimagining them. For the in-person visits that are still on schedule, there will likely be no lap sitting. Depending on the location, Santa will be using plexiglass or a bubble like this one. It's for Santa's and for the children's safety. So when the children come, they'll be out in front here. This is the back. I can get in. Santa oh. acknowledges that these new but necessary methods mean the experience will be different this year. You're not going to have that personal touch with the children. Um, I, they're going to be happy to see Santa, but they're not going to get that one on one. But Santa's helpers are doing their best to make sure kids still get the butterflies when they hear which list they're on, see the twinkle in Santa's eyes and feel the excitement of sharing their biggest wishes. Matt Wentz is the chief marketing officer for Cherry Hill Programs, a company that creates Santa experiences for hundreds of malls across the country, including eight here in Connecticut. They don't plan on stopping this year. We're going to strongly encourage guests make a reservation to visit Santa. They plan their time in advance. This year, guests will book their Santa time in advance at malls that partner with Cherry Hill Programs. Santa will wear a mask and will do a daily health screening and temperature check. Families and children will have to distance themselves from Santa. Be close enough where you can still have that conversation, right? Children can still share that wish list. I think of the challenges that we're all facing right now, and kids just want to play. Kids want to be kids. And then there's the virtual option. Ella Benarek and Larry Herzberger are artists on a mission. They're launching a website called How to Save Christmas. It's a website where parents can sign up to have their kids Zoom with Santa from the North Pole for 15 minutes and have several sessions leading up to Christmas. For 15 minutes, you've got Santa one-on-one. -on -one. You want to know how he flies those reindeer? You can ask them. <laughs> they also have a program that asks parents to take a picture of their children, and the image will be worked into a piece of artwork with Santa. There's no stress because the mother or the father or a caregiver will take a photograph of that child at their home when they feel comfortable. The company is working with 100 Miracle Santas from across the globe to make this happen. Their website launches today. It's their way of keeping a tradition alive for thousands of families. And that's going to bring that joy and hope to that child right through till Christmas Day. That, that's the goal. All of this can be done from the safety and comfort of your own home. So even though COVID has canceled many events this year, they want to make sure Santa isn't canceled. It's whatever they require. We're going to do it because we, we don't want to give up on the children. Reporting from the North Pole, Sharon Johnson. Santa Claus is coming to town <laughs> channel 3 eyewitness news